Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of The MCR, Mac and Me. My name's TJ, and seeing it's as warm as it is outside, I thought I'd retire the flannel, perhaps for the season. Inside joke with some of our uh, subscribers there. All right, anyways, on to the topic. Uh, this past week, we had... Uh, kind of a conclusion to something that's been playing out since November of uh, 2021, uh, November 30th of 2021. We had we had a shooting, a high school shooting in Oxford. And those not familiar with the Detroit area, it's uh, kind of a rural area. Probably about uh, what? What would you say, Mac? 45 minutes north of Detroit? About that. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's semi country area uh, north of Detroit, and uh, you know it's it's definitely your middle upper middle class uh, area. Okay, uh, I I would later uh, as in regards to this high school, I would later find out that I I think I had a niece and nephew that was attending it. And, yes, do uh, I? And I, I don't know if they were there the day of the shooting or not, but. Uh, uh, in any event, uh, you had a high school student uh, take a handgun, and uh, the handgun he used was a Sig Sawyer SP-2022. I, act I actually had to look that up because I wasn't familiar with that model, and it was, uh, per my research, it was kind of a polymer version of an older model P226, yeah, 226, uh, which, I, which I coincidentally do own. But uh, uh, so it's it was a high capacity nine millimeter uh, bought by his parents and uh, allegedly the, the the way it's told uh, it was purchased as a gift for him uh, and uh, I guess the kid uh, unbeknownst to the parents took it to school and and there were some things said at school that very day prior to the shooting where he was saying some stupid stuff and they called the parents in and the parents didn't take them home and the school didn't send them home. And a short time later, he uh, did the deed. And uh, I, I think uh, four people may have gotten killed. Uh, I think seven were injured. Uh, I don't know if I got the numbers correct there, but, but uh, you know, he, he did do some damage. As the situation would play out, he, he was he was caught at the scene, taken into custody. They were uh, going to, well, they were going to arrest the parents for negligence. And and you know, honestly, I always have, I, I always have second thoughts about as to how much the parents uh, are at fault here. But uh, they they made a couple mistakes, and and given their mistakes. It makes it hard to defend them or any parent who who would act the way they did. And, and what I mean by that is, for starters, they didn't lock the thing up, okay? Uh, Which is now required by Michigan law, but yes. And and and, and I got to tell you, uh, and like 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 we're in my house, even though we don't have kids, they're they're locked up one way or another. Uh, right. Same same here at my house. Uh. And what I mean by that is, you know, you've nowadays you've got these fairly high speed safes, push button safes. I got I got to tell you, I, I, I could have I could I could beat my gun within five seconds, I think. Yeah. You know, you push a series of buttons and 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 there you go, you know, and uh, so there, in that regard, there really is no excuse for for keeping them uh, secure. I mean, you got you got trigger guard mechanisms, you got uh, uh I've even seen uh, simple padlock type mechanisms where you, you know, lock the slide to the rear and uh, eject the magazine and and uh, send like a, I don't know what you call it, but the up through up through the uh, magazine well through the chamber and out, and then you use a padlock to secure the uh, lanyard. I'll call it. I, I don't yeah. I don't quite know what what you'd call it, but it, it, there, there's there's a few different ways that you can you can secure these guns if you don't have a safe and uh 
And they made a bad mistake. They made a well, bad I think, mistake. I think, the, uh, I think this young man had a history of mental illness. They knew it. And they got yeah. him. Out. So, yeah. you know, what? pretty much anything that happens after that is on them. Mistake yeah. or otherwise. Because four people are dead because of a mistake. Now, if you make a mistake and get in your car drunk and drive and run over and kill four people, you're going to prison. So yeah. why should they be any different? Well, and I got to tell you. And then they only made the situation worse by evading the police. And they thought they could hide out in Detroit. And yeah. and I will confess, I was a little surprised they were found in Detroit. Uh, a police officer saw their vehicle and uh, outside of a, like a small shop. And, and uh, that's kind of how they got caught, you know, but uh, kudos, kudos to that officer. Job well done. But uh, anyways, uh, this past week, uh, both the uh, mother and uh, father, uh, her name was, I think, Jennifer, and he, he's James. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, James and Jennifer Crumley. Uh, they, they have both, uh, in, the, in the past week or so, they've been found convicted and sentenced. Uh, and this is, this is where any, any sympathy for the father goes completely out the window at this point. They have them on tape making threats against the uh the prosecutor and the judge well uh, i'll tell you where these uh, these are not very bright people and what you just said no, they're proof, not proof of it but also their son goes out with a gun they gave him that wasn't locked up and they knew he was mentally ill they have the audacity to ask the court for time served talk about lack of remorse you know what they could have put these people in till hell freezes over for all i care well, and, and what kind of really, what I, I guess, in, in my own selfish perspective, this, this just really makes it all that much worse given the anti-gun climate out there. Well, you know? here's I mean, my, you look at, my you look concern. At, you, what's that? My, my concern with this case is, like everything, every law we make, every rule we make, all legislation expands. Yeah. So now if uh, Johnny takes the car without your permission, but it's your car and he, in the aforementioned example, runs over some people and kills them, are the parents responsible because they didn't put their car keys in a safe? I mean, it can go on and on and on in perpetuity with, the, well, with those who want to control every aspect of our life. They will take advantage of this and take what, what I think here is a good ruling. Because they are responsible in my eyes, uh, I, it's just going to get—it's just going to expand more and more and more. And you know what? Our kids are out of control, and they're out of control largely because, first off, nobody wants accountability for anything—parents, kids, the school system, and so on and so forth. Well, the, these parents just so many ways served it up to the anti-gunners. Uh, I, that's what really irritates me. I mean. Yeah, but you know what? Here's the thing. You and I are certainly not anti-gunners. I'm wearing a hat here. Gun owners for Trump. Uh, we're both gun owners. We're both responsible gun owners. We're not giving our guns to crazy people, so on and so forth. I mean, but we see what's wrong here. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I can tell you taking everyone's gun is not the answer. Yeah. Uh, well, they're they're going to they're going to. Uh, 10 to 15, not not quite sure how long they're going to serve. But if this guy keeps spouting off, man, and I wouldn't be surprised if it'll turn into more than 15 because the guy can't keep his mouth shut from what I heard. Well, you know, he's, you know what? He's exposing himself to be an idiot. Yeah. So, you know, we need less idiots on the street. I don't say they necessarily need to be in prison, but this guy clearly does. Yeah. Uh, well, he <laughs> clearly accepts no responsibility for his stupidity i would tell you right and that kind of sucks you know sucks well, all the way play around. stupid games win stupid prizes is a saying i like and uh, these two were played stupid games and now they've won stupid uh, prizes problem is is four other human beings won them as well yeah yeah so that, that's all that's all i got for this one uh i, I would just say uh you know, to those out there, you know, learn from this, you know, keep, keep your guns locked up. 
Uh, Pay attention to what your kid's saying. Yeah, yeah. So that that that's all I got for now. Uh, we'll call this one a wrap. As always, be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on me. Thank you.